Hello, my name is Leo. I mean, g'day mates, my name is Leo. Welcome to another week of Toki Meki Memorial Forever with you. Dude, I really need a PS5 hard drive. Says Justin in the chat. I'm nearly out of space. Well, what an amazing problem to have. I don't even have a fucking PS5. One day. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm going to buy a PS5 whenever Death Stranding 2 comes out. And probably not a day earlier. Well, probably maybe a day earlier, but not. I'm not going to buy it for any other game. Anywho, um, I mean, maybe do it a bit earlier so you could do Death Stranding 1. Director's cut, yeah, sure. Alright, so, two things we're going to talk about. I'll talk more about my Australian trip, we'll do that later. I uh, also totally forgot to translate that RPG battle sequence, and uh, also I had the the English translations of the stats, and my camera was not green screen, so it like blocked most of the dialogue anyway. So I just redid it. I did, well, here's what I did: did I just reloaded the save so I could redo that thing and record it, which I have a recording of now, and now we can translate it. And I'll do that later. Uh, but then halfway through the week, I got a call from uh, Satoshi, the the my, my friend who I call up to get information about the girls, and he took me on a I guess it was a double date with Shiori Fujisaki and the bookworm girl, and we went on like a scenic thing, and a roller coaster and a ghost house. Why on earth does this thing lag like it does? So annoying. And I'm really bummed that I hope it happens this week because it was a pretty fun experience. Uh, anyway, what are we doing? Well, I have a date next week. Do you know? I believe we're going to the park. Also, I think the 2nd of September is back to school. And that's that week is probably a school trip. Oh, uh, cool. Um, this is one more thing I want to talk about. Okay, it's like scheduling and, and, and it's a funny story. Um, so, the Elder Scrolls V Oblivion is supposed to start on the 27th of August. Uh, it starts on a Monday on the 27th of August. So, I figured out that if I waited a year in-game, uh, then the 27th of August would be a Tuesday, which it is this year. But I never actually did that. I made a character and everything. But I never actually sat there and skipped a full year so I could do it. I didn't have to skip a full year. I really, honestly, I could have done it from like March 1st, I think. March 1st? Yeah, March 1st. Okay. But anyways, entirely beside the point. Um, so my PlayStation 3 has been on for like the past two days, I think. I've been sitting there and like waiting 24 hours, but yeah, you can only do it for 24 hours, and then it. So I've just had the PlayStation just running the whole time to try. I think I'm in, I'm in second seed, which I believe is June. So I'm almost there. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, so I did a first 15 of it. Uh, that came out on on Friday, and then yeah, from the from the 27th, we're gonna actually do a proper a day by day playthrough. Although, I'll be skipping days willy-nilly, because when we start doing the uh, Yaxa games again, I'm probably not going to have time to do Oblivion. And Oblivion's a game that you can just skip without any real consequence. I think Persona's the worst for that. Because Persona... You can't skip a day of Persona. No. You can't... No, you can't really skip a game in Yaxa either, I guess. But you can just pretend. But like, yeah, Persona's the worst, because, yeah, it's the dates are, like, locked in. That's true. Alright, now, let's... What do you want to do? I want to go to my book club. I mean, my, my computer club. And hang out with you, you know. She's my girl. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Well, that doesn't increase my trivia. Oh. Huh. Yeah, it does. It does science, trivia, sometimes humanities. Hmm. Well, daytime. Oh yeah, I love a date. It's the 1st of September. Oh yeah. Well, 
Guess I'm going to the park to go see you, you know? Okay. It's so weird that that RPG fight. Who wants to go jacket on now? Is that because it's September, it's getting cold? It's really hot. It's fucking hot as shit, dude. I'm sweating balls in this outfit. Um, this is where the JRPG fight should have happened. Yeah, I know, right? This is, this is literally where it happened. Yeah. Where you're waiting? Nah, you're out on time, mate. Oh, uh, now why is that I? I'm sorry, what? Ooh. I don't know what she's saying. Yeah, I, f I found out. I found out a hot trick uh, with the the Google Translate thing. You just push like take a photo, and then it will. You don't have to hold it up the whole time. What did you come to do in a park like this? Oh, what do you want to do? Well, let's go make out behind the slide. I'm saying that I don't know. Oh! Am I about to choose like some dialogue options or something? What shall we talk about? Ooh. Oh, okay. Ahem. Just take the photo. Yeah, I don't know why I'm trying to translate it in my head. Just take the fucking photo already. Uh. Find about her hobbies. Or. Can't read it. Find a place. With you like find a place you like without being distracted. Sorry. Just a running in, so there's a massive festival on in my town and it's full of teenagers walking around. And I can even hear the music from the flat. Great. Cool. Like a music festival or like a like that, that festival that I did in Australia. That I will talk about eventually. Um, I think... What was the first one again? Ask about her hobbies. <laughs> yeah, no, she, she, wants, she wants to know a place where she can get distracted and do her research and stuff. That's definitely the best choice. Ellipses. So what? Oh, damn it. It's a fucking phone. <laughs> this phone is really slow recently. Oh, she loves junk shops. Well, I knew that already. Thank you for telling me the obvious. I mean, I kept trying to take you to the place that you love and... Music festival. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry, what? What did you say to me? Occasionally, it's good to take a breather. Oh, okay. I guess that's it. Oh, is that the point of the park? To try to talk. Should I translate this? Yeah, I'll just translate it. Okay. Oh, can I invite you again? Well, if I'm not busy, I guess I'll do it. Okay, then I will ask you. Bye. Wasn't that a fun time we had in the fucking park or whatever? I also forgot. I also realized that I, I saved. I, just, I didn't save here. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Didn't utilize the save point. Yeah, no one cares. Mm. Cool story, bro. All right. Well, I'm drinking this rum and coke, and I'm really enjoying it. Mm. Alright, let's talk about Australia. Wait, no, you have to translate that thing first. Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot. Is there a way to show it on screen? Yeah? You want to do that? Yeah. I mean, I have to do it anyway, right? That is true. You do have to do it anyway. Okay. Uh, let me pause the video. I'll be right back. Hey, we're back. Okay. So this is the video that I recorded before. Okay. Um, so let's have a peek, shall we? Alright, so the first thing says... The bad guys are attacking. And then it's got delinquents... And Leo and my name. And then 
in the middle have fight and defense. Should I mute myself? Whatever. Uh, who's attacking? Delinquent! What? It says, with that kind of attack. I don't know what that means. Oh, okay. With that kind of attack... Come on, translator. You can't talk about our fists. What? What? The fuck are you talking about this translation? So bad. You can't talk about our fists. What the fuck does that mean? I don't know. Can you mute it so I don't have to listen to myself? <laughs> That's weird. Leo attacks. Oops. Ah, fuck. I wanted to actually read that. Do you? Why? Well, that, that, that's just Leo attacks, right? Surely. It just says Leo attacks. Come on, translator. Fucking, yeah, Leo attacks. And then Leo... Obviously it says Leo does 643 damage. Come on. I did not need to fucking translate that. I can... Mm, whatever. <laughs> okay. Now what does she say? Well, she says... Kore de mokurai nasai? Yeah, what does that mean? It means, take this as much as you can! That's not what that means. But whatever. Okay, eat this, shitbirds. That's what it really means. And then she did damage. This is, this is not the battle last week. Because I re-recorded it. That was a lot of damage. Yeah, I did a bit, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Okay, then delinquent A attacks. Uh, delinquent punch. And he does 83 damage. Yeah, none of that other shit needs to be translated. Unless there's dialogue, you need to translate it. Do, 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 do. We'll get there. We'll get there. Do, 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 do. Oh, okay, what did that say? With that kind of attack, you can't talk about our fit. Is that really what it said? Yeah. It's the same thing. Okay. And then fucking eat this shit, birds. Those delinquents look like they're out of River City, a River City game. They do. But then again, that's what all the fucking delinquents back in the. 80s slash 90s look like. There's River City, but why am I wearing a fucking cape and a sword? Yeah, don't worry about the fight. <laughs> you know what I just realized? This is just like, um, yeah, because I'm like a dragon. This is just like, um, uh, Ichiban getting the bat and suddenly like hallucinating whenever he gets into a random fight. That the, that the random, like, homeless guys are, like, weird mages or something. Or monsters. Like an hallucination. Okay. Get on with it. Get the fuck on with it. I don't know how you win this fight. Because it's weird that you, you don't actually pick the enemy you're fighting. Oh, maybe I- oh, maybe I am. So maybe, because I targeted guy C. I, I reckon, uh, oh hey Mike, Jack, what's up? We're analyzing Turkey Making Memorial weird RPG fights. That's cool. Don't call me a low random stream, that's rude. That's just, that's just hurtful. <laughs> just makes me feel bad. Yeah, I, I guess, I guess, like, if you do enough damage to A, then it moves on to B, and then it moves on to C. Because you don't, you don't, you can't actually pick the character. I always thought it weird that you never actually kill anyone, but I guess, yeah, A and B have just stopped attacking. I could be wrong about that. Do 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 do. Let's just see if A, if A or B actually attacks. Oh no, I'm still attacking A. Oh, are you? Oh, okay, well then. Never mind then. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, man. 
Are we getting now? Why? Yeah. Well, the video's almost at over, so it's got, we're gonna be late. <laughs> yeah, you say that. How do you even play? How do you even play a game like that on PC? Uh, you don't. You play it on a PlayStation. Well, it's a PlayStation 2. It's a Japanese PlayStation 2. Oh, this isn't the game, by the way. This is, uh, uh, this is like a weird, it's not even a game, it's not even a game, well, I guess it's a mini game. It's a weird event that happens in Turkey Making Memorial. It happened last week. I'm just, I'm just analyzing the video and trying to translate it. Because I wanted to, because I was unable to translate it on the fly, because it was going by a million miles an hour. Okay, what does that say? I believe it says, Ah, oh, you won this time, and I'll get you next time. No, he said, Damn, that's pretty good. Okay. And then what? And then he just runs away. Uh, uh, but I think it's, I think he's saying, But we'll get you next time. Uh, I have no, oh god. He said, You're pretty good. I have no choice but to report this to the leader. What fucking li Oh god, that's important information. What leader? Am I gonna get attacked again by de delinquents later on? I mean, you know is like a fucking delinquent, is she? And then... What do we got? The battle was won! Yay! And then, I got XP, I guess. What does that say? What's that first kanji? I don't know. The, uh... Yeah, you got, you got experience. Okay. And then I got money. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Otakara. Okay, what's that? <laughs> Treasure! I got a mithril school uniform. Okay. Sure. <laughs> oh, what else? I got a fire t-shirt? Is that what that says? Uh, I, yeah, no, I got a flame t-shirt, alright, cool, and that's it, okay, interesting, interesting, so there you go, there you go, oh yeah, 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 alright, let's just pause there. Uh, so now I'm going to talk about my Australian trip, Mike Jack, because uh, I've already done I've done the episode. I mean, there. If, in case you're interested, we're going to be playing Age of Empires two later, and uh, Nikkei, the goddess of goddess of victory, because apparently there's an Evangelion thing going on, but I haven't actually confirmed if that's true or not. But anyway, so my Australian trip, yeah, all right, so. Let me, let me get one thing uh, out of the way before before we talk more about the actual trip itself, which I, I won't talk about until at least next week. I packed for winter because it's hot and summer in Japan. It's bleeding hot. So I assumed it would be pretty cold. Um, no, it was actually pretty freaking hot in Australia too. I was wearing like short sleeve shirts the whole time. Well, the only time I wasn't wearing short sleeve shirts is because... I was wearing a long... I happened to be wearing a long sleeve shirt and I couldn't change. Anyway. The only time it was cold was on the plane coming uh, coming into Oz. Because it was a nighttime flight. And uh, also I'm an idiot because I forgot my jacket. The one thing I was supposed to bring, I, I forgot it. But I put on like uh, my school jersey, which is like the warmest shirt I've got. And uh, that was fine, so... Um, it was also a little bit cold, like a night or two, when I stayed at a beachfront hotel. Um, but, I mean, that was probably just because, you know, the wind coming in from the ocean made it a bit cold, but... Yeah, other than that, I was sweating balls most of the time. Um, I did write down that I was sweating balls as much as I would in Japan. Uh, but that's a lie, because holy fuck is it hot in Japan right now. <laughs> It's so fucking hot, man. It's so fucking hot right now. 
Just like we're in, what's the difference in, uh, between weather, blah, 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 what's the difference in weather between Australia and Japan? Where's your camera? Oh, yeah, right. I forgot that I turned it off. Uh, let me figure out how to turn it back on. Please hold. Do 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 the difference between, uh, Justin Ryan again, what's the difference between, difference in weather between Australia and Japan? Um, I, it's weird. Um, obviously, not obviously, but the, the summers are, not the summers, I'm sorry, the winters. The winters are much warmer in Australia compared to Japan. I mean, simple fact is my hometown, it never, ever snowed, ever in my entire life. But it snows like a week every year. Or like a few days every year where I live in Japan um, but I swear I swear that the summers are hotter in Japan than they are in Australia which makes no sense because they shouldn't be but I think what it is is um, the summers uh, or just the, the weather in general in Australia is much drier and Japan is especially in summertime with all the or well, the, the rice fields of all... Oh, that's why there's not as many insects now. Because while we were away, the um, the farmers cut down the rice and harvested all the rice. So, usually, like, for the majority of summer, all the rice fields have, like, are filled up with water. And it attracts a whole bunch of insects. And that, I'm pretty sure that water also creates, like, a ton of humidity. And that's why it's, it feels hotter, because of the humidity. It sucks. Um, but yeah, no, it, to it totally feels like, uh, Japan is just more extreme than Australia. You would think that it would be hotter in Australia. I just, I've never been as hot as I have been recently. Well, I remember back in the day when I had a car, I was driving a car in Japan and it didn't have an air conditioner. And I would like, every time I got into the car, I'd like... I have like a little towel that I would like put down the back of my shirt to suck up all the sweat, otherwise I'd be just sweating profusely. Anyway. Uh, Mike Jack writing in, just gonna say, I'm gonna go now. Not really interested in it. Doesn't mean it bad though, so bye. How many kangaroos did I see? Well, I saw a dead one on the road, which was sad. And then I saw four or five on the side of the road. You know, alive and, you know, doing the thing. Uh, I didn't actually go to a zoo or anything, so... That's a fair amount of kangaroos to see. I saw a lot of other animals. And I'm going to talk about that on another day, but... We went to this, like, festival thing, and... There were cows, and horses, and... And, uh, Chickens. Big fucking chickens. Holy god, they're big fucking chickens, man. Uh, uh, and other, like, farm animals. So I didn't really see a lot of, like, Australian animals. I did not see a koala. Not that I was... Not, unless I went to a zoo, I probably was never going to see one. I've only ever seen, like, a wild koala, like, maybe twice in my life? Yeah. You see kangaroos all the time, because where um, my parents' old house was... Um, was somewhat near a prison. That's beside the point. But the prison had this big open area that was all blocked off. But the the kangaroos lived in there. And they just they just hang out in there. Um, so sometimes at late night they would actually hop into like the, the actual road, the main roads where you drive around. When it was quiet, I used to take like um. Japanese friends down there to like look at the kangaroos and I remember one time one of them was like taking photos of the kangaroos and then this fucking like Hummer like like at a hundred miles an hour just bursted in drove up to us like parked in front of us and this guard came out like what are you doing I'm, like taking photos of the kangaroos I'm, like you do realize that you're taking photos of like a prison and that's like an offense oh shit yeah 
okay, we'll, we'll delete the photos right now. So like, you fucking bad up guy. Get the fuck out of here. I'm like, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> fuck, the shit out of us. Anyway. So, back to my story. Yes. Um, it was hot. That's all. I've got to bring a bigger jacket, blah, blah, blah. We already did that. Um, so, I, I bought, I bought, I wore a, a, a short sleeve shirt. Because obviously I had to get to the airport and it was hot. But then I had a... How many other shirts did you bring? Three? Yeah, I bought three other shirts. They were all long sleeve shirt of varying thickness. One was like a really thin shirt. One was a more like thicker, warmer shirt. And then there was that school jersey that's like really warm. And um, honestly, I should have just bought all short sleeve shirts. And a jacket. And I would have been fine. Absolutely 100% fine. It was so hot most of the time. Um, I also only bought one pair of pants. Sorry, one other pair of pants. Apart from the ones I was wearing. And like three sets of undies and socks. I was packing really light, is the point I'm trying to say. Like three shirts. Not including what I was wearing. Three shirts. A pair of pants. Uh, what? Three sets of undies and socks. And that was it. I should have worn it. Well, I, was gonna, well, I would have worn the jacket. So I wouldn't really have counted. Um, okay, yeah, I can't say the same about the waifu. Oh, God. So, I'm going to talk about this now. So, the original plan, when we bought the tickets, and I... So, the last time we went to Japan, I mean, not Australia, in Japan, Australia, um, I didn't buy any checked luggage. Um, and that was a mistake. <laughs> because we ended up getting... I think that was... We went there Christmas. And we got fucking a ton of stuff for Christmas. So I had to buy, uh, check luggage. I think I borrowed, like, someone's suitcase. Which basically just meant I took it, because they didn't need it anyway. Um, and it cost, like, a hundred something dollars for, like, 20 kilos of luggage, and it was an absolute fucking rip-off. I did not want that to happen again. also didn't want to buy check luggage if I didn't need it. So, uh, the plan was... Now, what was the plan? No, yeah, that's right. The plan was that I would we would buy tickets to Australia with no check luggage. And then we would buy... And I bought 20 kilos of check luggage coming back. Um, and we were going to bring, like, a couple of small suitcases that were okay to be carry-on. And then we were going to check those in as check luggage coming back. It was a perfect plan. We also had, like, 14 kilos of... Um, carry-on luggage each, which is a, it's a fucking lot, dude. So again, I was packing light. The waifu somehow did not and went way over both my and her total amount of 14 kilos each. So we have to, yeah, I had to end up buying check luggage going to Australia, which was another hundred and something dollars. Like, her plan was that she wanted um... She wanted to buy Australian soaps, bring them back to Japan, and then sell them online. That's fine. That's a good plan. So we didn't need to. We didn't need to bring anything there. She bought like some like souvenirs and stuff for people. That's fine. I forget what she bought. She bought. She just bought way too much fucking shit. Yeah. I'm upset about that. <laughs> I'm upset because I, I, I almost got stung thrice. Because I got stung last time we came when I had to get check luggage coming back. I got stung this time because we got check luggage going there, which we shouldn't have needed in the first place. Whatever. Um, and then I almost got stung because the 20 kilos that we had coming back to Japan for a moment was not going to be enough. She wanted to bring back more and we, I was going to have to buy extra fucking check luggage. And I'm like, fuck off. Organize your shit more. Anyway. Um, yeah, I think she also wanted to buy, not buy, but like get like my mum's old clothes and like sell them. I don't know. Apparently that shit sells. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'm so, I'm sort of skipping over my story. I, I wrote this down. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have written this in sentences. I should have written this in like dot points, 
and then ad libbed on the way because I'm not reading it. <laughs> um, doo -doo -doo. So yeah, somehow though there was just way too much stuff that we were taking. Then we needed a big suitcase to bring. All right, we needed a big suitcase to come in. So we had to get. We basically no, that, that's right. We got check luggage going to Australia just so we could bring a big suitcase. Hundred and something dollars to bring like a suitcase that was practically empty. I mean, it could have been empty. It wasn't because, I mean, if we're gonna buy check luggage, I'll put fucking shit in it. But, ah, uh, whatever. <sighs> we already had a bunch of like borrowed suitcases that I borrowed from like my aunt and my mother. <laughs> So, we took the suitcase we were going to take and we took like another one to give back to my mum and she didn't want it. So, I think she just got to throw it away anyway. So, that was a waste of time. Anyway. Um, yeah, adding on that extra check luggage was was a bit expensive because you, if, you do it, if you do it when you get the tickets, it's fine. If you do it after, it's way more expensive. That sucks. Um... And that's it. That's pretty much the end of the story. We talked about how we got to the airport and all that. And yeah, so next week I'll actually talk about the when we got to Australia itself. I talk about the beautiful sunny. Well, no, it was actually sunny while we were there. No, you're right, it was. It didn't it didn't start raining until we got to um my hometown, but the beautiful sunny Gold Coast. Although I didn't actually get to swim in the ocean because it's probably a little bit too cold. But I did I did swim in a heated pool. And a spa, but we'll talk about that next week. Alright, cool. Now I'm gonna go and play Edge of Empires 2. Cool. But for now, my name is Lear, and I'll see you next time.